Hey, you guys, welcome back to Married to Film. Listen, here's part three. You're serious? Mm -hmm. What's Marty think about that? Yeah. I don't give a fuck what Marty thinks. Ooh. Keep drinking. Look at you, Wendy Davis. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna be trouble, trouble. Right. If I raise up, gonna be trouble. Trouble. I'm walking off. <laughs> what I'm proposing is that we lease you guys your equipment. Mm -hmm. It could make things smoother for you. We could funnel everything yeah. through one lender. Could pump some yeah. money back into this local economy. Yeah. Oh, man. Bands get nervous when you start serving us something. Right? Do they? Yeah. Um, well, um, Dickie, uh, would would it mitigate any of those nerves if if we uh, if we did an extra hundred grand? Will that make things better? Huh. That's uh, it's reasonable. I would say so. The guy here wants us to help him launder some money. Ah! <laughs> yeah, an extra hundred k. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> yeah. But don't forget why it's right there. Honey, Mrs. Bird. Mm -hmm. I've got a proposition. Hi, Mrs. Bird. Oh. Hey, Wyatt. I didn't realize you were working here. How can we help you? We've bought a new casino, and we're ready to cut you in. In a very generous way. Uh oh. I mean, all you have to do is give up your parental rights. Mm. What are you saying to me? I'm offering you money for Zeke. Hey, uh, I really don't think this is the right place to be talking about this. Well, no, he should have a nice young family. I mean, I mean, don't you agree? Why? I mean, not an aging widow. I, mean, I, I think, really, I think it's what's you. best for him. Jacob would take the deal. I don't money. ever want to hear you this. utter his name again. I think we should all just calm down. But I think we down. can all agree that the child deserves better than a, than a farm stand and a redneck for a mama. <laughs> that ought to do it. <laughs> Get out of here! Stop. Get out of here before Stop. I kill you! Stop. Darling, she's not gonna take you. You just threatened her in front of everybody. She said that I'll do it. Too far. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a personal question? When did you start at 529 Big Kids? When I started preschool. Okay, good. Thank you. I know Agent Evans has pressured you to testify against the Navarro cartel. I get it. Textbook play. It's personal for him, just like everything was personal for Agent Petty. There's a world in which you don't testify. And you don't have to go into witness protection. There's no one on my team who can do what you do. Wow. You on the other side? <laughs> You offering me a job in the FBI. I'm saying if you pled guilty to a separate offense, wire fraud, something casino related, you spend 18 months in a federal prison, Navarro would know you didn't rat. Got it. 18 months, you'd be a free man, provided you agree to help me catch people like you. <laughs> Dang! I'm crazy, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm contracting to the federal kind of government care. as a private citizen. It's a real possibility. Only the offer doesn't stand yeah. if Agent Evans gets you first. Mm. Food for thought. Pretty clear, what's your name? And we got all five points in case you were wondering. Here's how this is going to play out. We want Marty Bird. Is that one You're of the sure guys that you the talk burn? to your boss in Kansas City about this job? If you help us get him, your friends don't have anything to worry about. You don't, and you're all going to have problems. I'll do whatever you tell me. I know it. Marty just wanted to get out. Dang, she's still drinking. Ah! What happened? You really want to know? Oh, Lord, she's wrong. Of course. I ran into a door. <laughs> oh, he's 
why he be so fed up. This chick crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your mouth hurt. Yeah, power is corrupted there. Stay. What? No. I'm only getting weird with Marty. No, you should stay. I'm gonna change your heart. I'm gonna need you. I want you around. You gonna die? Yeah. 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 Have you a seat up there? I don't fucking think so. Then let me buy you dinner tomorrow night. Breakfast. <laughs> Snack. Uh oh, watch out. Glass of water. Dang! <laughs> Glass of water it is. Tomorrow. Be too much. Then you guarantee your service to the FBI. Okay then. Okay. Dang. Wow. Wow. Oh, brother, don't go. Don't go. Don't go. You gonna lose more toes? Where the fuck are we going? Where the fuck are we going? Where the fuck are we going? Like I said, he didn't want to. He was trying to get out at the end of last season. He does not want to be involved in all of this anymore. 
uh, the, the FBI agent that's uh, been uh, following, that's been uh, alongside him, offered him a deal, uh, 18 months in the federal penitentiary, federal penitentiary if he comes and works for the FBI. Um, they said it would do, uh, it would be some kind of a wiring fraud or something, so the cartel wouldn't um, think he ratted or anything like that. So he... In addition to him just only serving 18 months, they would know that he didn't rat. Right. So uh, he took the deal, and as soon as he took the deal, the cartel abducted him. It's crazy. Um, it's not just that, but the scene before that was the conversation between Wendy and mm -hmm. the cartel, mm -hmm. and big dude over there in the corner was telling him to get off the phone because he had been compromised. They traced it. They traced it back to him. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Mm -hmm. They traced it back to him. But he has already been threatened by Helen. Mm -hmm. Helen went to Ruth and asked her if she would be capable of running the business by herself just in case he goes away for a little bit. She said, yeah, why not? She goes and tells Marty. And Marty was like, okay, so what'd you tell him? She said, yeah, I could do it. He said, mm -hmm, okay, thanks. And then she was like, well, what are we going to do? Mm, we're going to find a way to lot some money. So what we do? <laughs> we call the band up. <laughs> hey, band. Hey, um, can we just make some things happen this way, this, that, and the third? How about that? Can you call your boys and ask them if they could take an extra 100K? You know, just keep the vendors the same. It's all good. Y'all can do whatever you want to do. Just take this extra money. Hey, boys. Hey, somebody want to launder. <laughs> they want to uh, use us as laundering some money. What do you say? <laughs> Wendy. Go ahead, baby. She's something else. Yeah, we say, uh, absolute power corrupts absolutely or something like that. And that's how she's doing. She's got the big head. You know, she called the uh, head of the Navarro cartel, you know, got his cell phone number. You know, she you know, <laughs> they talking. Um, you know, her and Marty are not communicating. She's doing things behind his back. He's doing doing things behind her back. Uh, they're just not in a good place right now. Not at all. She trying to get Zeke back all of a sudden. And she said she was going to pick a fight with a hillbilly. Yep. And, so, and she did. Yep. Darlene hit her and said she was going to kill her. In front of everybody. In front of everybody. She took pictures of, it, of her wound. <laughs> her busted lip. Right. She said, mm. <laughs> All I need. <laughs> it's just all bad right now. Uh, what else is going on? There's also another one that's going to be working for the FBI. Oh, that, yeah. It was on oh, the KC God. side. He's riding a boat, driving a boat through the lake or wherever, Ozark land. <laughs> Ozark River. I don't know. And uh, goes and picks up. Two young girls, they probably, what, 15? Maybe they're 16 now. Maybe 17. I don't know. Because they haven't said anything about graduating. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Anyway. But one of the girls is Helen's daughter. Uh, You better not be messing with her because you have your head on the spike. But her daughter is concerned about her father because Helen uh, called, not necessarily a hit, but made him hurt. A little bit. She said she wouldn't mind. She said every day she visualized somebody just kicking the mess out of him, and she actually got somebody to kick the mess out of him while she was on the phone, phone listening. Mm -hmm. So her daughter was concerned. She said, "When I know, you'll know." As far as his health is concerned, the counseling portion that was hilarious. <laughs> but um, he's paying her. <laughs> he's paying the counselor off. Uh, to make it seem like they're getting breakthroughs. And actually, mm -hmm. I mean, they are talking about everything except for they're just talking in code because they can't tell her mm -hmm. what's going on. But they actually they actually talk to one another. That's probably the best thing that they had talking to one another in the counseling than they do at home. They don't talk at all. I don't know. That's right, he asked her what happened and she said... You want to know the truth? <laughs> I hit a door. <laughs> I ran into a door. He was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, Threw his keys and kept on going. But uh, Ruth at the end, of course, she's trying to, uh, her brother, uh, Helen's brother, 
It was like, can I can I buy you dinner, lunch, breakfast, a snack, water, whatever? <laughs> and she started laughing. He said, okay, water it is tomorrow. But he sees the guys picking up Marty, literally mm -hmm. picking up Marty and putting him in the car. And he goes and gets Ruth. And they drive and they're following the car. The car <laughs> in the middle of the street. Dude comes out with his gun blazing. <laughs> Stay where you are, mm -hmm. basically. Don't have, you ain't got to tell you. Look, listen, guns, uh... Speaking full sentences. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to say nothing when you pull a gun. Sentence. Mm -hmm. With a punctuation and everything. But anyway. Yep. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I missed anything. Yeah, that's about it. Pretty much. That's everything in a nutshell. Oh, I had the fist and the fish. I had a fingerprint and a mic stand. Oh, Okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Fingerprint for the guy who got caught mm -hmm. because they had the camera. Mm -hmm. He did like this on the door, mm -hmm. and he got his foot. Uh, yeah, he, yeah. Everybody else had gloves. That joker, man. Everybody else had gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> and why would you? You put your whole hand. Whole hand. He put his. Cause I thought I was. Yeah. When I was looking at the screen, I was like, did somebody jack him up? You know, because it looked like he was thrown up against the <laughs> door. But he put his whole hand there. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, I can't think of anything else. No, I can't think of anything else. Did you want to watch another one? All right. So let us know what you guys thought of that episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, do all that. We'll see y'all next time. Yeah. Love y'all. Love you guys. No spoilers. Bye. Hey, wake up. Thank you.